racism started to creep in with the Romans and then later on when Africa was conquered then racism became rife because it was necessary to prove blacks who were inferior in order to keep them down because it, if, if people think they're equal they're going to fight you if they think they're inferior they're going to stay still okay because they're going to take it as God's will that they should operate in that way mm -hmm. okay so that these were later developments Okay, and, and in terms of the Americas, Africans, um, the, in America, African presence. Yes. Now, I'm the first person to write a book establishing there were Africans in America before Columbus. Um, mm -hmm. I came upon this by accident, and I didn't believe it at first, because I first came to this country 25 years ago, and I saw a book, African, the Discovery of America. I was influenced by the linguistics because at that time I was a linguist I had just written I had just compiled the Swahili dictionary of legal terms I was in East Africa for a year and I compiled the Swahili dictionary of legal terms I was fascinated by finding um, African words in early America as this man Leowina claimed etc but that wasn't enough so I actually began attacking the thesis mm -hmm. I didn't believe it and I wrote an essay for Random House and I said if anyone could show me picture of an African in America before Columbus, I would begin to believe. And a week later, to my astonishment, a man called Charles Harris at Grand House called me and he said, something strange has happened on my desk. You ended your article by saying, if anyone can show me the African American before Columbus, I would begin to believe. And I turned the page and there was a picture of an African American before Columbus. Because John Williams, the African American novelist, had gone to Mexico, met a strange German named von Wutenow. And von Wutenow had spent 40 years of his life digging up in Mexico and found faces of Africans among the American pottery. I was so startled. I had very little money then, but I took all of the money and flew straight to Mexico the very next weekend and met von Wutenow. We became lifelong friends. And von Wutenow took me to the museums and showed me these things. And I began to discover I knew about the linguistics. He knew about the art but that was not enough. I said, perhaps what has happened is so much fragmentation in the world as a result of slavery. This story lies in various places. Mm -hmm. So I started to move from art history and linguistics and I went to botany and found plants from Africa across to America before Columbus. I went to check out all the books on Columbus and found that Columbus was the first person. Columbus was the first person to suggest there were Africans in America before Columbus. I appeared before a congressional committee on the okay. oh, yeah, uh -huh, Yes. I appeared in a congressional committee on July the seventh, nineteen eighty seven, that was looking into the workings of the Christopher Columbus Committee, Chris Centenary Committee. And I pointed out to them I'm not the first person to suggest there were Africans in America before Columbus. Christopher Columbus was the first person to suggest this. Hmm. And then I presented twelve names of Europeans who actually saw or heard of black when they first came here. Mm -hmm. Christopher Columbus saw them in Honduras, heard of them in Haiti. It's reported by his son, Nan Columbus. Balboa saw them. Um, Labe Brasu de Bourbourg reported them in Panama. Um, Lopez de Gamara said they were identical with the blacks he saw. A whole range of things appeared. And I was able to show um, that Africa came to America in the in uh, 200 years before Columbus. I was able to show it in terms of eyewitness reports, in terms of images they had left, in terms of gold tip spears they were trading with, in terms of, of things they had written. Like, like I went into Arabic and found that the Arabs had reported on a trip by Africans across the Atlantic. It appears in two Arabic books, the al Kalkashandi, the Masalik al-Absar, fi Mamalik al-Amsar, I showed it in all the disciplines. When I brought out my book, I was attacked all over the world. I was attacked in France. I was attacked in Britain. I was attacked here in America. But I stuck to it and stuck to it and stuck to it. And the Smithsonian, the leading scientific institution in this country, they attacked me. Sixteen years later, they allowed me to speak. And they were startled by how much evidence there because they never bothered to listen, they never read the book, they never saw mm -hmm. the new evidence. As a result of this, 
a month ago, no, not a month, March, in March, after years and years, in March, the Smithsonian Institution published my essay. And they find it very difficult to refute because they have to, even though some of them don't believe, of course, they have to spend a lot of time now trying to disprove me because the evidence I have presented is overwhelming. So what we, specifically, what do we know about the African presence in America before Christ? Okay, we know what I was talking about just now is before Columbus. But right. we have found an African presence before Christ. We found a nation in America known as Olmec. And we found some of the heads of the Olmec. Not all of them. Some of them are African. They actually, one of them actually has African braids. Mm -hmm. And this is about 814 plus or minus 134 years before Christ. Mm -hmm. And we have found African, we have found their skeleton where we found the stone heads with their faces. We have gone into the graves and found the skeleton. And it is possible to tell from a skeleton whether a person is European, African, or Asian. It's not always possible if you're mixed, okay, because that con creates confusion. But we found pure blooded Africans. Mm -hmm. We found the, the, the nasal roof was different. The, the, the bone of the, the, the head bone was different. The structure of the jaw was different, the length of the body was different, relationship of limbs different, etc. So we found this racial type in the graves apart from the clay sculptures of them and the stone sculptures of them. So this is about 800 years? Yes, 800 years before Christ. Before Christ. Yes. Africans in the Americas. Yes. Specifically, uh, this would be where? Okay, this is that we found it in three places. We found it at La Venta. Mm -hmm. We found it at Tres Zapotes. We found it um, in another one of the capitals, La Venta, Tres de Porto, San Lorenzo. So we're talking about Mexico. Yes, in Mexico. Okay. Well, Mexico was America. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Mexico is now Mexico. We took away Texas from Mexico. We took away um, Colorado from Mexico. We took away part of Canada from Mexico. All of that was Mexico. So Mexico was larger than the present United States. This the United States is only a few hundred years old, so the period we're talking about, Mexico meant America.